Good morning and welcome to our About the Town program this morning, where we will be visiting the Waynesboro Theater. Before we go in, let's take a few minutes to check out the theater's history. The Arcade Theater opened on September 28, 1916. At the time it was built, the Arcade Theater had the largest stage east of the Mississippi River. The Arcade and a second theater showed serials on Saturdays. During the silent film era, a pipe organ provided accompaniment at the Arcade. In 1954, Warner Brothers Theaters Incorporated sold the building to Transamerica Waynesboro Realty Corporation, which sold the property to NWO Incorporated in 1966. NWO Incorporated demolished the Arcade Theater and built the current building that houses the Waynesboro Theater. The Waynesboro Theater was rebuilt as a Jerry Lewis Cinema Franchise Theater, promoting family-oriented films. It was purchased by Lou Radikovic in 1976 and showed first-run G to R-rated films. The theater closed in 2014. However, the Waynesboro Community Theater Project soon formed to preserve the cinema. Through private and public support, the Waynesboro Theater underwent extensive renovations, which included a new, modern exterior, the concession area, bathrooms, and a large 200-seat auditorium. Additionally, the new theater boasts all new digital picture and sound, plus premium seating. The newly renovated Waynesboro Theater reopened on November 20, 2015. Let's go inside now, where we will be meeting with Bill Kohler, Main Street Waynesboro's Director of Economic Development. Bill is also the President of the Board for the nonprofit Waynesboro Community Theater Project. Bill will be joined by Paige Stewart, Movie Event Coordinator. Good morning, Bill. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to visit the theater to take a look around to learn what it offers to the community. I have been told that there is a feature presentation getting ready to start in the auditorium that is a must-see for us. Let's go check it out. Hi everybody, it's Bill Kohler with the Waynesboro Community Theater Project as well as Main Street Waynesboro. And we're happy to invite you to the auditorium of the 193 seat Waynesboro Movie Theater. Uh, and we're excited, we, we're excited that Karen is allowing us to share some, some great news, some more information about where we're going with the theater project. Uh, and we're excited, it's back open, we're operating at 50% capacity for the time being. Uh, we're asking folks to wear masks until they sit down and eat their popcorn and drink their sodas. Um, and we have a lot of events that we're doing to, uh, again, to for the community and also to keep uh, keep the building open. So uh, speaking of that, and uh, I'm going to turn it over to Paige. She's our movie event coordinator, uh, and she's going to tell us about some of the events that we have uh, coming up in 2021. We have lots of events. We have over 40 um, showings planned right now coming up throughout the year. Our most recent one coming up is the end of March. March 27th, we have The Titanic, um, a classic with Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. You can't, you can't go wrong. Um, followed by the next weekend being Easter, Easter Saturday. We're doing a kids movie hop, which we're excited to have sponsored by the local veterinarian clinic. So we're always grateful for our sponsors who are allowing us to do all of these wonderful events here at the theater. Um, we also are gonna have a kids series this summer that is gonna be on June, it starts June 16th, the after school. No, June 9th. June, yes, June 9th. Yes, right, thank June you Paige, 9th. yes, June 9th, correct. At, and the kids series are at 10. And then we also have and then we also have our classic series, which are going to be on Wednesdays also at 2 p.m. And the classics are every, the yeah. second Wednesday of each month. Starting on April 14th. There you go. And then our kids summer series will run June, July, and the first of August um, every other Wednesday at 10. So we're excited. We also have a Comic-Con coming. Mm -hmm. We have an 80s. 80s weekend. It's totally, totally gnarly. Um, tubular. And, tubular. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so there, there's, there's good stuff happening. And I, I think, you know, what we tried to do as we were planning this is to, uh, 
pick out events that appeal to a lot of folks, not just families, but we also have a date night coming up on Mother's Day weekend. Yes. Um, and that'll be, we'll be showing Dirty Dancing for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, Patrick Swayze. Again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Young Patrick Swayze. So, um, so yeah, we're, and, and again, we're going to be announcing all of these in the coming, uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, and we're excited. We're excited because uh, it's been, there, there has been a movie theater in, in, in Waynesboro for over a hundred years and we're excited uh, we, we obviously had a about a nine month eight to nine month lapse here uh, because of the pandemic but thanks to uh, great volunteers uh, like Paige and, and our and our folks uh, on our, our nonprofit board and thanks to the sponsors uh, in the community thanks to people who just generously donated without even asking and thanks to folks that came out to the movies we were able to open back up the weekend after Thanksgiving, we showed Polar Express, and again, we're following safety guidelines. We uh, we wiped down the the uh, seats after every event, uh, and we wiped down all the handles and everything in the in the building. Plus, again, you have to wear face masks when you come into the theater, as long as uh, it's uh, we're following uh, state uh, CDC and Cinema Safe guidelines. So. And we are doing seating, social distance seating. So that's why we are encouraging you to purchase your tickets early so we can arrange seating with that um, social distancing in mind. Yes, thank you. Um, the other thing is uh, if you want to follow along, uh, again, you can go to uh, Facebook, uh, Waynesboro Community Theater Project, uh, also MainStreetWaynesboro.org, uh, and the Waynesboro Theater also has a Facebook page. So, And we're working on updating the website for the theater. But uh, you know, again, go to those Facebook pages. Um, and look and see what our schedule is. We're trying to get flyers around the community as well, but um, we're happy to be back open, even in a limited capacity, again, to keep the, keep the, the screen alive here uh, or, or lit up in, in, in Waynesboro, and it's exciting, and it, it's what, one of the reasons why Waynesboro is a cool place to be. Let's get together with Bill again and take a look at the projection room. The old days of reel to reel, um, which was how the uh, so many theaters ran for for decades and decades, uh, half a century. Um, now it's it's a computerized um, uh, process where um, before uh, COVID, um, the movies would literally come in to this computer system through a satellite on the roof, um, and they never actually had the physical movies here. They would get a code, they program it it would be set to go, you push a button, and it would come out, and of course the projector lens is on this side, shining out to the, uh, to the auditorium to hit the screen, but yeah, it's basically a bunch of buttons, um, that right now what we're doing is we're running all our movies on a really nice uh, Blu-ray uh, player, this, uh, if you want to see here, Karen, this is uh, the sound and uh, uh, projector system, these are all attached to speakers, these, uh, these soundboards, so um, pretty uh, amazing technology um, uh, and things that uh, um, I'm still learning as we're going. It's kind of uh, you know the whole thing of what did you learn, what did you do on your summer vacation, what did I do during the pandemic? Is I learned how to run a movie theater. So thanks to John Benedict and uh, uh, some other folks uh, who have helped us uh, kind of uh, get this uh, back up and running. Uh, and, and again, it's just. Uh, uh, it's a pretty neat process, and uh, um, that uh, kind of makes the magic happen. So, but it you know comes down to again finding movies that everybody will enjoy, and will take help people travel to destinations and things, and to seeing it on a big screen. Even uh, you know a lot of the, almost all the movies that we're showing this uh, year have been shown before. You know you could watch, probably stream them on Netflix, but they're just not the same as seeing them on a uh, you know a giant screen um, with amazing sound, and you'd be hard pressed in our area to find uh, sound and uh, and production that you have here in downtown Waynesboro in this theater. And it's a, a testament to the people that donated, the, the people uh, from the Waynesboro Community Theater Project that uh, worked so hard to raise money uh, and make uh, you know tough, tough decisions and good decisions uh, for us to uh, be able to get this equipment, keep this equipment uh, during the, uh, uh, you know, when the uh, company, uh, um, uh, went out of business basically that was running it. So right now again the theater is owned by nonprofit, run by a nonprofit, a local nonprofit with local people, uh, and we're doing everything we can to keep it running. So and again if you have any information questions or 
uh, want more information, check out uh, Waynesboro Community Theater Project on Facebook and Main Street Waynesboro on Facebook and also MainStreetWaynesboro.org. And uh, thanks to everybody for their patience and their faith in, uh, in bringing the movies back to Waynesboro. Thank you for joining us for our program today. And special thanks go to Bill and Paige for sharing with us and to the Waynesboro Theater and Main Street Waynesboro for inviting us in. We look forward to bringing you more about the town programs in the future.